Hi everybody, Scott Davenport here with a quick leveling tip for you for Perfect Photo Suite 9. When I enter the photo suite, leveling is the first thing I want to make sure is correct. Once I start adding layers, adding masks, or using smart layers, either the leveling tool is going to have some side effect like collapsing masks, or uh, I'm going to lose that tool altogether once I start using smart layers. So uh, leveling is the very first thing I want to make sure is done correctly. So in this image, it's pretty close on the leveling, but it looks like the right-hand side is just ever so slightly lower than the left-hand side, and I want to correct that. And I want to be very precise about where I place my uh, leveling points. So I'd want to uh, zoom in here. Let me zoom in at 100%. And so, you know, I want to place one leveling point on the horizon on the left-hand side, and then be able to place the other point on the horizon at the right-hand side, and that will give me the most accurate leveling. Now the leveling tool is in the crop tool. Now as soon as I click crop, I'm zoomed back out to uh, fill the preview window, and I can't zoom in. You know, I, if I tune the zoom tool, well, I'm no longer cropping, and you'll notice when I have the crop tool selected, the zoom options in the navigator are no longer available. Now this makes sense for cropping, but for leveling, I want to be precise. You know, if I choose this leveling tool, it's very hard for me to tell where exactly am I placing these points. So what to do is to use the loop that's on the upper right side of uh, the uh, perfect layers panes. So next to the navigator, we've got this loop tab. And what loop does is it will follow the cursor around. So as I move the cursor through the scene, you can see in the upper right, the loop is following it. So, you know, so here's the, the center of that starburst, and then I can move down to the rock, and everything's just following the cursor. So now, again, still with my leveling tool selected, as I uh, get close to the horizon, I can switch my eyes over to the loop pane in the upper right and be very precise about where I'm going to place those leveling points. So I'll click for the first one here. I'm holding down the mouse button. And I, my eyes are back to the large preview pane as I drag this leveling line all the way across the image to the right side. As I get close to the horizon, my eyes are now back up at the loop and I can place the second point for leveling right on the horizon's edge. I'll go right about there, and I'll let go, and you'll see a very slight shift, and that is a very precise leveling job. I'll apply that, and it's because of this loop view letting us see exactly where those level points are going to be. So next time you're leveling, switch over to the loop so you can really see exactly where those leveling points are going to go and get the best leveling job that you can.